Hi, welcome to another Power Blast podcast. Hey everyone, Perry Tinsley here, creator of the Power Blast podcast, owner of PutYourselfFirst.com and founder of Team Power Blast. And happy Thanksgiving to you. You know, here we are another year. I so appreciate um, all of the messages I get, uh, all of the, the subscribers to this podcast. And I'm just grateful to be able to share all these words of wisdom and tips and, and success stories with you over, man, it's going to be coming up on eight years pretty soon, uh, over 400 episodes. Pretty amazing. Um, so here we are. We're at Thanksgiving. And, you know, I, I know that there's a lot of tips, a lot of ideas out there. Here's some things that, that you may want to consider. Um, hopefully, you, you, you've celebrated Thanksgiving and, um, well, if you're in the U.S., it's Thanksgiving, and you, you maybe kept things in check. Maybe you didn't. You know, there's a lot of people who are like, you know what? I earned this meal. I earned the food all day, whatever it is. Um, I've been there, you know, some, some Thanksgivings, eating super squeaky clean. Other Thanksgivings said, hey, you know what? I, I deserve to, you know, not have to keep track and I'm just going to go for it. So, uh, regardless, if this is you, you know, where you're kind of looking at it and going, yeah, I overdid it, but it was worth it. You know, it, you know I had extra pie, I had extra servings, I had extra helpings, whatever. Um, you're, you're, you know, it is what it is. Here's some ideas to just quickly get back on track and... Make it as if it never happened, but you've got the memories of the great holiday. So here we go. One thing is, you know, there's a lot of leftovers and stuff that end up happening. Um, if you're really wanting to get back on track, you know, almost cut your losses with the things that are those sneaky calories that you might be just going back and just grabbing little bits here and there, little tasters here and there, but you're going and grabbing little tasters often. Um, you know, I don't know if this is if you're looking at this after the weekend holiday or whatever it is, but if it is, restock the kitchen with the healthy options. Toss, freeze, get rid of any of the extra munchies, the extra chips, the extra salty things, the extra things that you're going to grab, especially if you're in a time where you're going to get stressed or it start, you know, mindlessly munch make it not available. That's one thing that you want to make sure you do. The other thing is you probably loaded up a lot on carbs over the day or over the weekend. Switch your switch gears, mostly protein and vegetables. Um, low carb type of eating, uh, at least for a little while, a few days, maybe a week. Um, that will take away a lot of that, <laughs> that bloat. You'll feel a lot better. Um, and then you can get back on track to what your regular eating program is. Um, so that, that's another thing with the eating. Um, we, we tend to eat a lot of salty and fattening types of foods this time around. So water, you want to get that in your body, like a gallon of it, you know, maybe focus on getting a gallon at least for the next few days, unless you're like really, really short person. I mean, maybe a little bit less, but, um, or really tiny, um, but about a gallon of water, you know, just kind of keep flushing the toxins out uh, of your body. And, um, you know, water's great anyway. Uh, I've got a lot of great water recipes if you're like, I don't like plain water, but I've got, you know, some very healthy uh, flavored water type of recipes. You can message me more for that. Um, so that's another thing. So we've got food, got water restocking your kitchen. Um, next one is workouts. Man, find fun workout, you know. Um, you can go on and, you know, after you eat like a big meal, like 12 hours later, 12 to 16 hours later, do like a HIT workout, a high intensity interval training workout. We've got a lot of great ones from Beachbody, but if you don't own one of those, get on Google, do a search for high intensity uh, um, interval training workouts. There's probably a list of things on how, what you can do over, you know, 15, 20 minutes um, where you're really getting that, that heart rate really up high, taking a little mini break and then bam, hitting it again. And so um, that's, that's going to help you burn fat and burn the calories too. Um, and, you know, make your workouts fun. 
we, we have so many fun workouts, you know, exercise sometimes isn't fun, but you can make it that way, you know, get yourself a dance workout, get yourself a crank up the tunes and do a weightlifting workout, whatever it is, uh, exercise, get out, walk, run, um, you want to do those things. The other thing is motivation. I've talked to a lot of people this past week and many people are joining one of our motivation groups or our fitness motivation groups for the month of December. They're like, hey, I know that I want to celebrate this weekend and I want to hit it hard all the way until Christmas and the New Year's. So, you know, give me give me something to focus, um, something that I can get in and check in with a group of people that are motivated, same mindset, they want to get results too. And so, uh, message me because we've got like two or three different groups uh, ready to go. We're starting on December 1st, but you know, if you're watching this a little bit later, message me anyway because um, we've got other um, even little mini challenges within the month uh, to help you get back on track and to really stay focused, you know, up to the next holiday. And of course, then we'll have things in the new year too, but you don't want to wait till then. I mean, gosh, by then you'll, you know, the guilt, the weight of the guilt, like, oh my gosh, I wish I, or the regret <laughs> of not uh, doing anything all month. Um, you want to at least make sure you do that. And I've, I've helped people strategize and plan their day so they can get in something every day and not be at that point where they would have wished they would have done something. But they, these are busy times. This is a busy month. Um, the other thing, and probably the last thing to consider um, now this is U.S. only, uh, but uh, is to consider, and this this stuff works. If you really want to get back on track and say, you know what, I celebrated, I had a great time, I need to get back on track quickly. Um, there's this program that I've done a couple times. Lose about six and a half pounds um, every time I've done it. It's super super simple. It's called the three day refresh, and um, you're just doing like. What is it like a, a shakeology and a couple other like three other shakes a day and three like vanilla shakes a day is it three no it's two um so shakeology and, and two two shakes a day it comes in a kit and then there's like a, a a fiber boost powder in there and then some you get to eat real food too there throughout the day um and there's great recipes in there but the thing is you know it's, it's a very calorie restricted but nutrient dense type of program that Really, I mean, the body just kind of goes, ah, I feel great, you know, and it, that's okay. And I'm not starving. I'm not hungry. And, you know, the thing is, you know, whatever you ended up happening uh, over the week, you, you can tend to undo. So those are some tips for what to do to get back on track after Thanksgiving. I'm so grateful for you. And you know what? Get back to me. Comment below. Whatever questions. I'm here to help you. Okay, I want to see you get results and uh, finish the year strong. Remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week.